Inspire a nation. To remember the night <laughs> after the pageant, uh, I mean, I don't know if it felt the same to you, but it was like the whole world stood still for a couple of seconds. <laughs> and everything just came true at once, and you're like, okay, what now? <laughs> it didn't come true for me. <laughs> to me, it was. Um, the announcement was made, I mm. walked in Ramona and I remember mm. you not being there. Mm. And after that moment, I blanked. <laughs> after that moment, I remember someone coming on stage, taking me by the hand, mm. taking me backstage and taking me for my interviews immediately. So it, it starts at such a quick pace. Definitely. And I mean, how did you feel when that happened? Did you think it was going to take a little bit longer? Because I thought, okay, now I'm going to see my parents and yeah. have a quick cry <laughs> with them and then everything will start. But there was no time. Definitely. I think also, um, before you could even grasp the concept yourself, you had to start talking to the public about it. I know. Before you could actually think, okay, I'm, I've been just been crying this essay. Mm. You have to talk to the media and to this newspaper and live on this radio channel. So yeah. it's, it's definitely, it's overwhelming for yourself. And then you still get thrown into that side of the pool where you have to swim. <laughs> yeah, I think it's important for girls to understand that once you crown Miss SA, you already have to be a Miss SA. So when the cameras are shut down and the live show is over, they take you back on stage and you have to talk about your, your charity for the year and what you want to do with your year and people want to get to know you. So yes. I mean, immediately after that, you had to go and address the whole Super Bowl. And that was quite a daunting experience. Well, as we were just discussing that we didn't even have time to see our parents like on that special mm -hmm. moment or whatever the case may be. How did your family life and your personal life change after winning the crown? <laughs> what personal life? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, girls, I, I, had to, I had to kind of readjust myself. I think the first big move is the fact that you have to move to Joburg and you live in a completely different environment that you're used to. So you have your own apartment and your new family becomes the office and the support network that you create for yourself. But I mean, it is important to try and and schedule in some some good quality family time every now and again because I mean, it is a hectic year. You have to get your tank full in one way or, no, in, or another. And I know that spending time with my family definitely did it for me. So whether it was um, taking my mum with me to uh, like a birthday celebration or to uh, a Women's Day function or to take some of my best friends to the Samas or something like that, trying to normalize normalize Miss SA to your surroundings as well because if you integrate your family into your new life then it'll be better for them to understand when you need the support as well. I remember how hectic my year was and to juggle a diary and all of that but how how has your year been so far? I mean how busy have you been? How, how have you been coping with your diary because it is hectic? What have you keep, been keeping yourself busy with? Well everything ranging from my charities which is mm. Cotlands and Reach for Dream and Emmet Cares and so on and my Rhino Foundation but also remembering that we've got a whole bunch of sponsors on board as well mm. which is pretty much business partners to the Miss SA brand. Yes. So you've got events for them that you have to attend, appearances for them you have to attend because um, they're building your brand as much as they, you're building their brand. Mm. And then obviously different appearances, public appearances, whether it's award ceremonies, whether mm. it's um, let me think this weekend is talking at a school. Exactly. Yeah. Schools that talk, so mm. it's a variety of things. There's no routine. As Miss Essa, you've got no yes, routine. I, so. know. <laughs> I think that was the one thing that I really had to get used to is not being able to plan anything ahead yeah. in a week's time. But you also realise that it's not your job anymore to plan your life. Your life is someone else's for a year. Definitely. If you're an activist for your charity in your year, there's a lot of meetings that you have to have. There's a lot of public speaking that you need to do, a lot of office meetings that you have to attend. You're not just living from glamorous event to glamorous event. No, everything but. There's lots of admin behind it, although mm. the office does take care of a lot of that. Mm. But there's some things you just have to do yourself. There's, yeah. some, there's so much that happens behind the scenes mm. to what the public actually sees. Miss South Africa, inspire a nation.